Okay, let's talk about this solitude. The song right here, we gonna have part A, part B. We gonna repeat part A. I think part B should be repeat twice, but it's missing a repeat sign right here. So let's talk about each bar, each chord. It it is kind of a it'll be complicated. First one is A minor. The second B is A minor slash G. Next one you call F six. Best way you just hold A minor. This way, hold the G. Next one, you move the index to F. Take out the second finger, get the D. So, go to E major. A minor. A minor slash G. Next one is D7 slash F sharp. D7. Move to F sharp bass. G chord, slide down. Next one is more like G7. It's a G7 chord, but under the F bass slash F. C major. It's more like a G7 slash B. Like G7. Next one, C major. It's starting like a C sus4. Next one is A minor. This is F. Yeah, this is F is a sharp 11. B is a sharp 11, like this. Yeah, E chord, A minor. So together will be. Third line, second bar. You can play this way. It will be this way. You can hold a low A, but this one doesn't request that. It's open A. See the zero open. It means you can just like. Yeah. Yes. So this A will be loose. If you play the C, A will be stop. Right. It's an easy ending, or you can play this way. Small finger on the A. Okay, let's go to the next part. Please write down the C major chord. Next one is G slash G slash B. The bass moving C, B, B flat, A. It's very interesting moving for these two bars. So. The so chord should be C chord, G slash B, B flat six. This will be yeah. This one. The B flat is like this, like this. Yeah. Adding a six note. Do, yeah, which is a G note, like this. Now, most of the notes from B flat major chord adding the six called B flat six. So the chord sounds like. to A7. Next one is a 5 to 1. It's a 5 to 1. E minor is a 1, right? So one. It's a D minor. D minor slash C. Now move to B bass. This one. More like a G7 chord. Under the B bass slash B. G7 slash B. Yeah. E major. Yeah, so G7. Yeah, next one. Is this... B7 slash B? No, which one talking about? Well, the, uh, right before the E, e chord. B1 oh, of that's that. G, that's it's called G7 slash B. Yeah, G7 slash G7 B. G7 have the root third. It's a B. F. B is 5. F is plus 7. Right now, you see here, they have a B. It's a third plus seven, D is a five, G is a root. Another yeah. D here. So everything in this in this nose, this beat will be 
is inside the G7 core. There's nothing else. Everything is in, it belongs to G7. But the B is the bass slash B. The composer, I think, tried to move the bass chromatic, oh, maybe whole step or half step. There's a way they try to release. We only pay attention to the bass notes. It's very interesting yes. moving, yeah. It's very smooth, yeah, so it's not like... Yes, this is an E major. The last line, we have A minor. It sounds like beginning parts, it's so... It's A minor. G slash G, yes. Next one you can guess. Next one must be F sharp or F. It's so trying to go in descending the, the bass note. It's F sharp yeah. on the bass. So that's called D7 slash F sharp. You can go this way across the sound, but if you class if you are using classical guitar, right? You cannot do this too wide. So you go this way. Yeah, it's more like a D7. In, in finger style we go this way a lot. And then after that, is, uh, you, you have written in here D dim, uh, F diminished. Right. Next. This is F diminished. You are right. This one is called F diminished. F diminished chord is a little weird sound. See, F diminished should be F, G sharp, and B. Right? If you're typing, it's easier F, G sharp, and B, right? It's a chromatic 3 fret by 3 fret. It's called a minor third plus minor third. So F, G sharp, B. But we're going to play F here. We play G sharp here and B here. Actually, this way will be sounds more closer. We are using an octave lower to F. It's A minor, yes. Slash E. Because F on the bass, next one lower to E. Yeah, we go e, A minor on the top, E on the bass. Next one, we become F, uh, called F plus a sharp 11. Yeah, we play a lot of F chord like this. So I would say the F will be sounds like F with the B on the top, the sharp 11. Get back to G, so... Yeah, and next one is A minor. Pardon me? It, I'm sorry, is that the same as the, the third line first measure? F? Yeah. yeah, same thing. It is the same ending. It's the last two bar on the, the last line, it's the same as the third line, the first two bar. This two bar, it's the same. You, you can see the same chord. Yeah. Yeah, it is the same, yeah. So you just... So we can put F and then E and then A minor. Uh, the only difference is the bass, the first bass is E right here, and this part is the first bass is A. See, I'm playing the last two bar on the song, the last line, it starts by E. Yeah. There you go. Same A minor release. If I play the last, the first two bar on the, uh, the third line, if you see I'm pointing the third line right here, if I play the first two bar, it sounds like this. Only the bass. Yeah, like this. Yeah, so it had, and so the last, the, the difference is it's A minor slash E, then F. E, A minor. Right, right. Okay. Is there any question do we have? Uh, no, I, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. We just have to practice it slowly. Okay. So last section, maybe later, after you play good, you can do a strumming chord. It could be improvising, make another melody. I think you could just make another melody on top. It sounds very, very nice, a chord progression like this. Uh, the problem is, what do you play under the B flat and A7? The idea is, let me show you that. This is C chord right here. We have a C. In these two bars, if you sample them, it would be like this. Next one will be B flat. In these two keys, you play in key of C something. Maybe you can play. Yeah. 
Now the next one is B flat. We can play. In this case, you are in key of F because in F, in key of F, B flat is the four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So actually, you start by B flat as the four sub sub dominant chord. The next one will be. I will play the key of F because. F, a7 is the third chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B flat, third. Actually, you are playing B flat. Next one, D minor is the sixth chord. In the key of F, one, two, three, four, five, six. D minor. Right? So, actually, if you write down the scale degree from this line on the bottom, I will get this is the fourth chord. From key of F, and that's the third one, become a third major. So next yes. one is D minor, is the sixth chord, right? D minor. Now from this part, we come back to key of A minor or key of C. A minor. In the key of C, we have G7. Also, we have E chord in key of A minor or key of C. Right? You just play the third major, not E minor, E major. Right? No, so if I solo in, I'll go here, I will change back to key of A minor or key of C something. But I play the G sharp, replace the G natural. This sounds like matching the E chord. Next one is A minor. It's back to A natural minor. Right? And this one. Oh, sorry. In this case, I think this is more like still inside A minor, but it's more like A dorm mode. We play the D chord. The D7 chord is in key of G. One, five, one, and two, and three, four, five. This chord. The so F diminished chord, you just need to play the, some kind of a B, or either G sharp, or something inside the chord, either F. So I'll play the D right here. I'll play something like A dorm mode right here. It's a D7 chord. Something from the G major, but I come back to B to stay. Next one, I can stay back to A minor. Next one is F. So I can complete the chord changing. Let me show you the way. I can play very slow, let you see what I, what I use. Uh, try to change my skill to fix a chord. Okay, sounds like this. Are you starting on? Are you starting on the on the B flat four chord, or you're on the C chord before that? I'm going to start by the C chord right here. The C second chord. part, C to G. Yeah, from to complete section. Okay. I'm going to start by the complete section. The first section is not too much okay. change. We we basically go A minor or something there. The second part is very interesting change. So I try to show you in the modern music or in the pop music. The uh, they treat the chord like this. Some kind of skill behind it. You had to work on with a skill changing to matching the chord. So that's where the melody came from. All the lead guitar came from. Or you can put the lyrics in there, become a real song. That's the way they go. So I go slowly. One, two, three, four. You go. That's complete the chord change. You already read on the chord, right? So I'll yeah, say, yeah, okay. I, I have all the chords written down. It's just I don't have all the Roman numerals. So okay. Um, when you start at the beginning on the C chord, what what Roman numeral? Oh, that's a C is a one, and the next one, one is a, next one is a five number five, which is slash a B. It's a G chord, it's a five. And next one we go by the key of B, key of F. It start by four. Three, six. Next five. one, we six. What? Uh, is it five after that? No, no. It's no. still six, but the the bass moved to the, the C. Oh. It's not a five. It's the five chord is a C. So C seven. From the seven. E key of F, right? One, two, three, four, five. Oh. It's never go to five. So There's no dominant seven in there. This is a minor chord. Just slice the bass. 
they want the bass leading to the B, which will be the next chord. So G7. From this bar, the last bar on the second line, bottom bottom second line, we go back to key of C, like this one. Oh, A minor, I would say it's A minor. Back to like harmonic minor scale right here. So next bar, we become a natural minor because the G came out, right? G natural is the natural minor. Next one, we have this thing here. I will go with like a G, key of G made by A Dorton mode. Yeah. Like this kind of song. Okay, the next one is come back to A minor. So, so this is a lot of key chain or mode chain. You don't have to learn the mode too much. Work on the major or minor scale or uh, think about as a part of a major, start by different notes because the mode basic is just like a scale starting by different note. If you want to make it complicated, you just have a lot of names. No, I don't learn that way, so I like to make it easier, a lot of easier. Okay, I can so that, of... it's in the key of um, F, the whole second line to the end. Yeah, I can show you what I changed first two bar key of C and suddenly I can change key of F, something like this. Three, go. Good. So this is called play by ear. I usually play a few times. Uh, I I will make mistakes for a few times, but I just like yeah. which note is, is strong for my ear. I'll keep that note. Of course, you don't keep the mistake. You will learn from your mistake. But behind the play by ear, there's a lot of music theory and a prior training or skill training. So I'll explain again. The first two bar, I'll stop. Okay, between this one, the C key of C at this time. I'll play straight scale. The scale is just like a. It will work, but not a good sounding because yeah. it's just like you're randomly playing the note, not targeting anything. You need a target right note. So C for the two bars, and the next one F major, uh, a B. I'm gonna play the F major. Oh, I start by B flat to play. Okay, sounds like C major. Not good, but you can you can see where what I'm using in my mind when I play the note. Of course, you need to select the right note. You need passing. Uh, you get familiar when you look the fingerboard. For me, when I look them, if I hear the background music change, the number also change. It's not only the note. It's so always C here, always A here, but uh, just real time translate them or transfer them to a different key, some kind of scary degrees. For me, I sing them in my heart. Uh -huh. I so me, me, me. I know that's re is the number two. One when I go D minor become La six. La, si, do, 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 yeah, it's a sharp five in key of uh, yeah. Key of F is right. Yeah, sharp five, C sharp. So I try again. This time I'll select the note. I won't play the scale like this anymore. It sounds like this. So three go. a different set of notes which is not higher position very similar the way you think so it is pick up some higher range note but you can switch if i repeat twice maybe i play here and here second time then become a real solo player like this yeah. 
a solo playing composing like this. Yeah, it's more for electric guitars. All acoustic is fine. The tone is different. Yeah. Hey, thank you, John. Okay, you're welcome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay, see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.